Flagman will take a look. Eight laps on the Concrete Mobile scoreboard. And the green flag flies. Mackenzie Baker trying to slice through the middle to get to the front. And Mackenzie drives all the way up to third in a half a lap. And now looks wow. for Glace and Tweet. Out of the corner they come. Here's Todd Glace looking for his first heat race victory. Watch out, Kevin Twight shows up right up in the Glace, the 98 machine. That's Twight and Glace. And Mackenzie Baker just sitting there waiting to pounce. Nate Jern in fourth. Nate Jern top five in points. And look out, here comes the 37 machine. And Remington Costake will make it up ground as he was off the back straightaway a little bit ago. But Mackenzie Baker now is going to battle for second, Larry, as she's going to the high group. We're going to battle Kevin Twight. Well, thanks for reminding me again as I was pronouncing Kevin's name wrong. Oh, you're welcome. It's Twight, not Tweet, I guess. Just looking out for you, that's all. Well, what the heck did they put the V in for it anyway? They should throw the V out. It's silent. A silent V. Silent V. <laughs> Baker to the inside. Mackenzie Baker having a good run. Slows up a little bit. Remit Nikostenko now is in third. Todd Glace there, Larry, he might have his first heat race win here. I'm not the only one that's confused by silent letters. It confuses Ricky on Trailer Park Boys all the time. <laughs> on Netflix. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Glace going first, first win, trying to hang on. Dwight, though, right behind him. Here comes Kostenko, last week's A-Main winner. He's in the 37, and he's down on the inside. He's got the angle as they come out of the corner. Oh, squeeze job on the 31 car. Kostenko goes up high, gets a little sideways, but Glaze has to break as well. And Remington Kostenko has been getting it done this year. The raised green, that means two to go. Two laps to go, Remington Kostenko is now your new leader. Todd Glace in second. White Lennon showing now for Kostenko. Glace in second, Mackenzie Baker now in third. She's gonna make a hard charge here to get to second place. As she's gonna hit the bottom of the groove, trying to find a way around the 98 machine. Remington, Remington Kostenko is kinda sitting in idle, letting her go by as he's got a good size of a lead going into corner number four. Mackenzie Baker to the bottom. The race is now for second. Costigno's gonna win it, but here comes Baker. Oh, oh, hang on. Hang on, hang on, Remington. Watch out, everybody. Watch out, everybody made it by. Remington Costanko is your winner from Minot. Inside row number four, the, uh, inside row number two, the 54 machine of Christopher C. Kings. Green flag in the air. We're racing. I'll set him the 55 for Minot, Scott Jurd. Gary Gowdy Sr. is scheduled out there. I don't see him. He was scheduled out to be out here. Andrew Birch in the 146, the 9 machine of Katie Ruby, and the 9D of Dana Brandt. So the 146 of Andrew Birch, the 9D. Oh, watch out. The 10 machine falls right in Steven Norris. Spun right in front of Katie Ruby. Watch out, Casey. Oof, duh. Andrew Burke leads the field to corners one and two. And following very closely is Dana Brandt. Always shenanigans in the press box. It just never ends. Brandt right on. You start the shenanigans. Andrew Burke <laughs> as they go into two and three. Uh. Katie Ruby trying to join the crowd up front. Follows him down the back straightaway. Andrew Burke, the last time around, 64.0 mile an hour average. Andrew Burke has a feature win here at the Nodak Speedway. He is now currently seventh in the point standings. Deanna Brand, your points leader, trying to find a way around the 146. 
Katie Ruby in the nine, just waiting for something to happen. Is it, can I keep that paper? No way. He just more shenanigans in the press box, threw it behind the back and made it in the garbage. That's crazy. Oh, of course I did. Andrew Birch out of the turn, the 146, still leading. 64.2 miles an hour. He is the fastest car on the racing surface. That just shows you how lame that game of basketball is. Throwing a little orange ball through a hoop. When you could throw a piece of paper into a garbage can without even looking at it. Well, absolutely. I mean, that's just talent. Andrew Birch opened the door there. Got up into the got up into the cushion, a little contact with the 90 and the 146. Andrew Birch, still your leader. Katie Ruby just ever so slightly getting up to the 9D. Two to go. What? Green flag high in the air. White Linen's going to come out for the 146. The 90 of Dana Brand has one more lap to get it done, but Katie Ruby is coming up to join the fun. Yeah, Birch trying to stave off the two number nines here now on the last lap. He takes it out of the corner, wheels it down the back. Katie Ruby and Birch both racing in Williston this past weekend. Out of the corner they come. And Andrew Birch is going to hold on. Dana Brandt comes second. Katie Ruby comes across in third. And Scott Jern in the A to Z sign special is fourth. Whitson's car. It's nice and pink. I like to see these guys. Green flag. Colton did not go. The 99 machine gets around him. Trevor Haas. Vance Talman to the outside. Wally Jones. And Brent Thompson. That's got to be a record on the fastest drop from the pole to last. Ah, poor what guy. I've ever seen. Just didn't go. Here comes Tomlinson, your leader. Then Trevor Haas sporting the pink 99. Wally Jones, Thompson, Jason Ruby in the pink 23. So the color scheme on that uh, C45 and that start kind of reminded me of Bruce Rudlin <laughs> when he used to race. He's not up. He's outside, I think. Same paint scheme and same thundering start. <laughs> Bruce Rutherford is a new race director this year. Had to take a shot at now him. Got to take what well, you get. Five weeks, I haven't taken a shot at him yet. That's yeah. the first one. Oh, well, the door was open. <laughs> oh, heads up. Spin in the back straightaway. Thought Gosh. about getting up on the side a little bit, but did not. A wild 360 in the yellow comes out and search for those and take a look. There's some great pictures from that first year up in the field. There's the green flag. Yeah, what used to be Minot, though. What used to be Minot <laughs> has changed quite considerably since then. Yes, it has. Um, I saw those pictures. They're awesome to look at. If you guys can go do that, Larry posted them this winter again on his Facebook page. Man, what a difference. What a difference in the man. Larry's been a fan ever since he could remember. So you got to believe it. Vance Tomlinson to the lead. Jason Ruby in second. Jones in third. Battle for fourth. Trevor Haas and Jason Olson. Down the back straight away they go. And Vance Tomlinson, who put on quite the show up in Williston this weekend, is the leader in the 3T. Jason Ruby still running second. And Jason Olson now challenging Wally Jones for that third place spot. And here comes Trevor Haas of the Dark TV special. Out of the corner they come. I wonder what Haas actually did with that one dollar that Darn TV did give him on the car sponsorship that yeah. makes him so much faster. I don't know, maybe he sold Brandon Beater's setup. I don't know what happened there. There's Vance Thomas in the tall green flag, two laps to go. Ruby in second, Olsen in third, and Trevor Haas. I'm gonna I'm gonna say that. They got the dollar from Darn TV, great sponsorship. You know, Darn TV threw in twenty-five cents. <laughs> Darn TV threw in 25 cents last night. You know, Brandon, he's really running on a budget this year, it must be. So here's Vance Tomlinson, white linen. I bought my Larry. Oh, Brandon, I'm just joking, buddy. Nah, Vance <laughs> Tomlinson down the back straightaway, but Jason Olsen's going to try to battle for second as they go down the back. 
Larry, you know, coming down to Williston, he about made me spit up my coke, so I had to get him back somehow. <laughs> Here comes Vance Thompson, the 3T. He's going to win at Olsen. Doesn't get to Jason Ruby. Ruby in second, Olsen in third, and Trevor Haas comes across in fourth. Wally Jones in fifth. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner from Max, North Dakota, the 3T machine of Vance Tomlinson.